Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So recently I did a video telling you my final conclusions on the um, Xeno because I've now flown it a, long, a lot of times. So I want to do a similar thing to this. I've now flown this a lot. So this had a lot of flights under its belt now. And my conclusion hasn't changed too much since the original video I did, to be honest. So it's now had any updates it's had done. So all the updates have been done and it's a nice flyer. It's a really nice flyer and provided you use the battery charger that doesn't come with it, you get decent flight time out of it. So, <laughs> it's extremely stable in the air. Considering there's no, no um, sensors on the bottom of this thing, it is really nice. It doesn't loiter, it'll stay wherever it is. And it does what it says on the tin. The only issue is if you, if you go fast on the gimbal, you're going to get if you're going to fast your should I say you're going to get an issue because the gimbal's only two axes so remember if you're filming one of these you need to be quite gentle into the turns and you'll get acceptable more than acceptable video it's actually good video 1080p 30 frames second and it looks quite it looks sharp the controller like I said in the original one I absolutely love this thing it is a perfect flyer is a perfect combination with this I think you get good resolution out of the sticks, the stick feels very nice, everything's very positive on it. So the biggest problem I have now with this drone is this screen now. I hope you can see that. You can, the screen's not easy to see because I'm in a room that's now got some daylight in it and I can barely see the screen myself. So when you're out flying this in any kind of sun you're going to get an issue. You are going to get an issue. It's not in my opinion acceptable for the drone the screen should have been a better quality screen or have some kind of arrangement on here that had a sun visor but even with a sun visor i think you're still going to struggle because it's so low resolution it does for line shots so do not get me wrong i'm not saying for one minute it doesn't and it, it can do a job but you very much you find yourself peering at it or if i've got a jacket on i tend to put this inside my jacket so i can have a look at it if you're flying from some place like the back of your car which you could sometimes sit in the boat and fly from the back of your car you're probably going to be fine but if you're out in an open field this thing is going to cause you an issue which is why i fly with goggles the goggles i've got have a much better resolution than the screen on this so i get a really nice image back and i also get better i don't get as much break up because the antennas for all the 5.8 gigahertz on this are not the best in the world so i do get better better quality of feedback when i'm using the goggles but the screen has a built-in screen they did away with the wi-fi thing and went with no app and meant everything on here they could use a one in one and for all but I don't know how people really survive in these countries where it's really really sunny I mean I'm in the UK half the time it's grey and when it's grey it's acceptable you can just about use it but this room's not very well lit the, now I'm putting this out of the studio lights into the camera and you can see it's quite dull I'm str I struggle to see this in this room so it's the one thing of the drone that really to me is a letdown but the biggest question is, so what do I think of it after all this time? Yeah, I think it's fantastic. It's £230 if you can get hold of one, which is its other major issue. If you could buy this thing from your local hobby store or order it online at a UK store like Amazon or somewhere like that, I think it'll do much better than it's ever going to do. The problem you're going to get with this drone is it's very much of a market of where you buy it from. In the UK, you're having to buy this from Banggood or Gearbest or whoever it is, and that's fine, and I don't mind buying it from Banggood at all, but... A lot of people don't, and a lot of people don't like taking that gamble, which is why it's never going to be as successful as probably it should be, because this is a really, really nice drone. Forget what I said about, this is an issue with this, but it's still only two, even if that if it has a proper blank controller with no screen, I still think it was worth the money, because of what it is. The biggest problem you've got for this at the minute is, when I reviewed the Xeno the other day, I think it was 267 quid. When I've gone on to Banggood recently, that price has dropped even further. So you can pick it up for 257 now with an extra battery and a bag. Or you can pick it up for, I think it's £199. At the time I do this video, I don't know when you're going to watch this. Because I don't know when I'm putting it up. But at the time I do this video, that is the price. Now, this is Banggood and selling it at this price. I think Gearbest have also dropped it. If you go buy it from Zeno, it's back up to the original price. Which is from the Hubson store. Which is not, in my opinion, worth that money. 
It's fantastic drone for what it is. But that's the problem because this is now in the same price category. So what would you buy? I did a video comparing both at 1080p and if I'm being totally honest, I was a bit shocked with the video because I thought the Zedo would look nowhere near as good as this and it did. I also thought that this would hammer it on flight characteristics and at that point it was better than it. Now this is now the Zeno is on 150, there isn't that much difference in flight. The one thing this doesn't do is that horrible abrupt stop. This will come to a sudden stop but it'll actually slow itself down into the stop, not just shudder like that. And have they got this thing right on flying? Yeah, I think this is an absolutely perfect flyer. I think it's fantastic. It does its job. It does what it's meant to do for the money. It was a budget drone. It's a fantastic introduction into camera drones. Do not get me wrong. I just wish you could buy this more in more and more places. The Altel Evo in this country suffers the same problem because I don't think, I hardly know anybody that's got an Evo. I think I'm about three or four people that I've heard of that own the Evo in this country. And that is an amazing drone. I absolutely love the thing. But the same problem. It's not available in the UK readily. So people don't buy it. They'll buy the DJI product because you can buy that everywhere. And that's a bit of a shame. I'm not knocking DJI, you know I like DJI if you've been watching my channel for long enough but the problem you've got is DJI are always going to have this monopoly if you can only buy their drones in certain stores. You can buy a DJI drone in Curry's for God's sake. You're not going to ever be able to buy this in Curry's. You can buy a Hubsan on, in some Hubsans in Curry's. You can certainly buy the Hubsan on all Amazon sites. You can't get this. And that's going to be the problem for the for the, this unfortunately and the X8 may well suffer the same problem because of the fact that you can't get it the 4k drone which I also own I own the Xiaomi 4k it is amazing it is I don't get me wrong it's not a Phantom 4 but it's 300 and odd pound compared to the Phantom 4's price of a grand when it came out and there isn't 700 quid of a difference let's be honest the picture is not quite sharp and it's a flatter image but it's perfect for editing I love the Xiaomi 4K. I've never had an issue with it. I know some people have. I personally haven't. I know there was issue with the 1080 version of that. But again, I've had no issues with my 4K. I've had no issues with this apart from the fact that... And it isn't an issue. It's just something I don't particularly like. I don't particularly like this screen. If it, they'd have had a sun visor, or even if you sell one, I could buy it. If you can make, if they make something that clip on here and do its job, then I'll buy one. But that's the other problem with buying Femi. Xiaomi, because you're not going to get the bits like you can, DJI accessories are everywhere, you're falling over the things. Will the accessories come out so you can pick these up readily for this? Who knows? So, if you're watching this video and you're thinking about getting one, don't think anymore, just go buy one. If you're after a 1080p drone, it's not as good as a Spark, I'll be totally honest with you, it isn't, but it's nowhere near the Spark price, it's much cheaper. Even a second hand Spark costs more than this. I love the Spark to bits, I absolutely love the thing. But if you're wanting something budget to get into the hobby, you can't really do much better than this. The only other thing I say to you is it's between this and the Xeno. But a lot of people do not want 4K footage anyway. And the other thing that I wish this did is fold, but that's why they make the X8. So, thanks ever so much for watching. Uh, you'll have probably seen in the top corner of this video, in one of the corners I've probably put some, well I will have put some flight footage of this. To show, it, to show you how good it is and I'll probably leave a couple of minutes at the end of this video so once again thanks for watching, thanks for all your support and if you haven't subscribed and you like this video please do so